anything you want to buy. <laughs> uh, oh, that! That is also considered as whatever it is. This is all just fragrance. They don't have any incense? Rare wood incense? Oh, right here. Oh! Incense. But then where are the oh. plates that you would put them on? Eclipse! Like, I, I showed you here. It's here. You can put inset. Oh, you face it straight up and down. Yeah. Well, they have ones that are long. You can have it at an angle. Like, um, that one? Those incense are here. We missed it. We passed the other <sighs> No way, this is not incense. It's, uh... It's fragrance. Ooh, I don't like it. Especially when you eat it. This here is... Don't have it. Well, look it up on the other store. I mean, they got all these incense, but they don't have the incense. Why is it like a candle? It's, it's like this, and you stick it in there at an angle, and as the ashes fall, it just collects on the tape. Huh? Oh, it's so it's not falling. Why don't you just create it yourself? You create it. You lazy. I don't know if eating this hot food is making me hotter or, or if it's just the sun or what. This is definitely different. I would have to say that 100% of the stuff since yesterday I have never tried before. <laughs> this is going to be a nice sunset. We can go to the hills tomorrow morning. Okay. Good. Um, what's today? Saturday? Mm -hmm. The clouds don't look all that high, high up when you're in the air. Because when you're high enough and you have all those low dang clouds, they literally look like they're touching the ground. Yeah. Those clouds? Yeah. They're clear. Yeah. Is that that, um, the, IS, the ISS is located 500 kilometers from the Earth, right? Yeah, like 266 miles, something like that. It was like the, um, 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 the last thing. Bali to the corner of Bali. Standard on its end and that's how far up it is. That is actually real close then. How come? And it's traveling at 7 kilometers. 
Yeah, we're looking for our tonight. Now, our resort that we're at tonight, is that secluded enough where there's no city lights? Mm -hmm. Cool. We'll definitely have to go out in an open area, watch the stars. We'll bring one of them back. We'll bring a blanket. Okay. Or one of our towels or something. Mm -hmm. we'll buy a pool. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glitching out. No, you took a bite. <laughs> you took a bite and then you started jogging. Hang up and call me back. <laughs> I wonder if they had some soy sauce because that would make this taste a little bit better. Put this. Or salt or sugar. What is that? Cut. Is it ketchup? Please tell me it's not hot. Try it. <laughs> yeah, it's bring it. No. <laughs> it's not even hot. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? My mouth is sweating. That's how hot it is. Nice. I wish we had something cold sweating. to drink too. I need something really cold. Like right mm -hmm. Ring the bell. Here. She's sweet. Yep. Want you want to just want to get like a Coke or something? Yeah, I want to Coke. Do you have to have a license to own your own business? Do you have to have special permits? It's food and beverage. And you have to have the check from the um, health, uh, food and health organization in the USA, BPOM. The best part of waking up. Even this one, like, oh, it feels so good. <laughs> so go ahead and make out with the cop. I'm gonna drink. Gas, leak, internet. America. America. <laughs> what was just American other than the belt? Fart. Yeah, fart. Mm, big foot. What? Big foot. No, I'm a hobbit. No, you're not. You're a mammoth. Mammoth? Yeah. A mammoth who walks into a hole. <laughs> it was fun. I didn't catch that, but I know your feet was somehow falling to that. It did. But I knew, I knew, I knew I missed it the minute I took the step. So I just walked out of it. That's pretty quick. Well, my other foot was close enough to the edge where I didn't lose my balance. So I just stepped out of it. I thought I was off balance. You're more work. <laughs> I, need, I want you to look up where this location is. All the locations on a map, can you point them out? Mm -hmm. Why? I'm curious as to where I am. In Indonesia. Open up your phone. Where's your phone? In the room, remember? I don't have internet. No, it's Wi-Fi. I can't even send the text me.
Mind you, how do I record it? That is checked on my list. Make the burp sound. Well, you're trying to control it. <laughs> and I don't know how the heck, I mean, we can control our burps. I can. How are we going to control it first? How are you going to control it first? <laughs> oh, wow, the fart didn't know. Stop. I thought I'm the one who liked the rice. Oh, I love red waste, especially with a little bit of sugar on it. Mm. You ever put, try putting sugar on it? A little bit of sugar on it. There you go. Try it. No, Mom said that's the thing. No, not that kind. Of. Sugar. sugar. A little bit of alcohol in that because you almost spilt it. <laughs> um, no, my mom, that used to be considered a, a snack when my mom would take it. What? That would be like dessert snack. Rice? Rice with sugar in it. They lived out, they lived far enough out of town where it was, you only went to town for stuff that you needed. Not just because you were hungry and wanted to say. So, my mom grew up on a dairy farm. Milk and cows and whatnot. So she'd go milk the cows and then she'd just get rid of the bus to the school. So she'd have her overhauls on and she had, she'd have cow manure on her boots still. And, uh, yeah, she was quite, a, quite an outcast because she would just go to work and go to school smelling like farm. Smelling like farm. What? You're also a farm boy. I'm a country boy. We never milked cows, but we had pigs, goats, chickens, horses, cows. We had a couple of steers. We should have to. We had a very, we had a, we had a very smart cow once. We would, um, because we had 70 acres. I don't know how you guys measure here. It's like bigger than this one. Yeah, pretty much. Probably from here all the way to those trees in the distance. so much. Probably just as wide. Um, he would break out like, way off in the distance. He would walk the fence line all the way up to the house, and then he would sit in front of our our living room window and sit there and moo at us. Just like yeah, like hey, it got out. <laughs> hey, you gotta put me back in the fence now. <laughs> And then you gotta try to figure out where it is. You just find it. You just find it. Yes. Thank you. But, so then we put him back in, and then we'd have the task of trying to find out where he got out at before he goes back over there and walks back out again. So he, he's done it a couple of times. He'll get out like three or four times until we realized that he was making it a game. Because we figured he would just go in and Always wander. Did, like, every day. Nope, he went right back to the same area to, uh, several occasions until we finally learned to put him in the barn before we before we fix it. We had our. Do you still have the? Do you still have that house? That was that first house I so showed you once. One winter ago, it was the one with the paint, uh, yellow siding, the apple orchard in the background. Mm -hmm. Backdrop. Yeah. Nope, we haven't lived there since 2006. Um, when our barn broke down when we lived there, we had a pot belly pig. <laughs> Mind you, barn is engulfed in flames. Fire truck just got there. They had to test the line to get the air out of it so they could turn the hose on. And so they tested it and it ended up putting a good foot and a half uh, like mud hole on the side of the road because they were testing the line. <laughs> my mom started laughing and I'm like, what's going on? She points, she goes, pig! <laughs> the pig is crossing between the firefighters who are trying to put out the barn that's just to go to the, to the And the mother. pig's just snorting his way between them. Not even paying attention that 15 feet away there's 100 foot flames shooting out the building. He goes, <laughs> all the way to the mud hoist, sniffs it, and he starts rolling in the mud. <laughs> Happily doesn't pay. Happily. <laughs> He doesn't even know that there's an accident happening. So the fire department's like, Vicky, get your pig out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he was totally not paying attention to this giant fire going on. It's like, I don't care. I can just like... Well, he, we got him addicted to marshmallows. What? We trained him on marshmallows. You what? could pretty much get him to do whatever you want. 
Like, and he would sit there and he would go. <gasps> Must be he would make like a grunting noise because he wanted a marshmallow. <laughs> it's like at one point I trained him to uh, push a bowling ball across the room. Now I got him to push it across the room and push it back and then do a marshmallow. So a lot of times when I walk in there with a marshmallow, that's the first thing he did. <laughs> oh, he's coming. Better push that bowling ball. He also used the bowling ball as a uh, uh, significant other. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> gross. I can't, I can't even imagine. Say. I was like, oh, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Where's the pig? <laughs> we could probably stop that now. Yeah.